So welcome back children to your online classes and we are continuing. Our target being for today is ending this exercise as well as the next one which is a very short exercise of two sums. With this we will be done with the chapter and we will start our third chapter tomorrow. We now come to sum number 9 and I am reminding all students once again all instructions, all sums need to be copied from your textbook. You have to start making use of your textbook. Just don't write the answers, copy the sums from the textbook, please. Now this is a word problem, so the entire word problem has to be taken down. It says, a theater is to be constructed in which each room must have 40 seats. Uh, in, uh, I'll read it once again. A theater is to be constructed in which each room must have 40 seats. If the required seating capacity of the theater is 960, find the number of rows in the theater. So this is the theater. I am drawing a diagram. You would also draw this diagram in order to understand the concept. So this is the theater. Come and say, please. 
please shift a little bit. I, I don't have a confirmed ticket. Can I sit on the bus? So we have four, four people, five, five people sitting in or on a berth that is meant only for three people to sit on. So we shift and we oblige and we be kind enough to give other people a place to sit in the daytime when we are travelling by railways. But in a hall, there are fixed number of seats that can sit, that can seat only that many people. Can, can, can the thing can seat less people but cannot seat more than that. Now the total capacity of this theatre is 960. And in each row, in each row, they are, in each row, there are 40 seats. In each row, there are 40 seats. I have to find out how many rows are there. What will I do? I will divide. I will divide the total capacity by the number of seats in each row and I will come to know how many rows are there in the theatre. So, the number of rows, number of rows will be equal to the capacity divided by the number of seats in each row. Number of seats in each row. Number of seats in each row. There are 960 seats and each row has 40 seats. So if I divide the entire capacity by the number of seats in each row, I will come to know the number of rows. So number of rows is equal to capacity divided by number of seats in each row. So number of rows will be equal to 960 divided by 40. So, I take 960 and I divide it by 40. If you know your 4 times table, you know your 40 times table also. All you have to do, all you have to do is keep on adding 0. So, 40 1 to 40, 40 2s are 80. Because 4 2s are 8, so 4 3s are 12 will be 40 3s are 120. This is 96. It can work out with 9. So 9 and 6, 96. So 42s are 80 and 43s are 120. 120 will be more. So it will go only two times. 42s are 80. Take down 6. 6 takes away 0, 6. 9 takes away 8, 1. 16 is less than 40. I am dividing correctly. Every time my remainder needs to be smaller than my divisor. If my remainder is greater than my divisor, I, will, I am dividing wrong, for sure. Take down the next digit, 0, becomes 160. 4 ones are 4, 40 ones are 40. 4 twos are 8, 40 twos are 80. 4 threes are 12, 40 threes are 120. 4 fours are 16, 40 fours are 160. So 40 fours are 160. Do I get a remainder? No. So my quotient is 24. My answer is 24. Number of rows, 24. So now I can write my final statement. There are 24 rows in the theatre. Now how do I confirm whether I have divided correctly? Again, divisor multiplied by portion and to remainder. Now there is no remainder to add. So all I need to do is multiply the dividend, sorry, multiply the divisor and the portion. So I am just doing a rough work to check. You can also write this to check. Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Dividend will be equal to divisor 40 into 24. What is the remainder? 0. So, dividend will be equal to 40 into 24. 
Now, if I put this 40 against 24, 0 going to be 0. 4 4s are 16, carry 1, see. And 4 2s are 8 and 1, 9. 4 2s are 8 plus 1, 9. 960 plus 0 will give me 960. That means I have correct, I have correctly divided. I have divided the dividend by the divider. Absolutely correct. And therefore, my answer is that there are 24 roots in the phrase. Remember, the diagram has to be drawn. Everything that you see on the board for this particular sum, that is sum number 9, has to be written in your notebook. Please ensure that everything that is on the board right now, while I am while making this video, has to be transferred.